Welcome to the enchanting world of Quebec's ramps, also known as wild garlic. A delicacy shrouded in mystery and rarity. For generations, ramps have been revered for their unique flavor and culinary versatility. However, their popularity has led to over-harvesting, threatening their very existence in the wild. To combat this, strict regulations have been put in place, prohibiting the commercial picking of ramps in Quebec. But why are ramps so rare, you might wonder? The answer lies in their delicate nature and slow growth. In the depths of Quebec's forests, finding a patch of ramps is akin to discovering a hidden treasure. Their elusive nature and scarcity add to their allure, but also serve as a poignant reminder of the importance of sustainable harvesting practices. As stewards of the land, it is our duty to tread lightly and preserve the natural wonders that grace our forests. Let us cherish the fleeting beauty of ramps and ensure that future generations can savour their exquisite flavours for years to come. Okay, so we just got back home with the ramps. Now I'm gonna show you some preparations to keep your ramps all year round. First thing is gonna be pickle ramps. We're gonna do also some ramps butter and some ramps oil. So you can use some for your steaks, for your vinaigrette, for you know anything you wanna use it for. Let's do it. Speaking of pickle ramps, I just happen to have a recipe for it in my cookbook. Always hungry, toujours fin. Look at this beautiful jar of pickled goodness. You know you want it. So for the pickling liquid, we're gonna do some white vinegar. I'm just gonna eyeball everything today because you know what? I'm freestyling. That's probably 500 milliliter. Yeah, something like that. And then some black peppercorn. I don't have any white sugar left, so we're gonna use some maple sugar. And you know what, it makes sense because ramps grow where maple trees are growing. So you know what, it's like all coming back together. So, boom, all in. And a generous pinch of salt in there as well. And a splash of water. So we'll bring this to a boil. And then, while this is going, we are gonna take care of the ramps. For the pickled ramps, we're gonna cut the green part off because all you wanna use is the bulb here until like the, the color turns to purple. This is good for, for pickled ramps. And the rest, we're gonna use for the green oil. So we ended up cutting all the ramps, bulbs of the whole stash here. And I put these in this little container. That's very tight, but it's exactly what I want. And you know me, it's always, you know, the smallest containers, guys. It's my trademark now, I guess. Then they're gonna kind of like, go down a little bit with the, the pickling liquid that's super hot. Okay, now we can just pour that around there. Okay, now you wanna leave this at room temp to cool down and then we'll put it in the fridge. First thing, done. Now for the green part, we're gonna do the butter and the oil. So before we do that, I'm gonna do a quick blanch in boiling water, all of it. And then just for a few seconds in there. So they've been in the water for a few seconds. Now we're gonna put them in the ice cold water bowl right here. Okay, now time to get the rams out of the water. They're all cooled down. You're gonna do a little squeezy squeeze on here. Get some water, just like spinach, you know? I'm gonna squeeze the water out as much as you can. Oh. And then put these on a clean kitchen towel here. So all the rams are here. Make sure it's nice and dry. Take as much water out of there as you can. Now we're gonna do half of this here for the oil and the rest for the butter. So that's probably half. Okay, perfect, here. And now we want to blitz this with some a mix of olive oil and canola oil. So we're going to do probably half and half. 
Probably good. The next step is you want to strain this uh, beautiful mixture to be left with a beautiful clear oil because after time, if you just leave it like this, since you have like all the, the actual green in the oil, it would turn bad. This one, we're gonna strain it all, so it's gonna keep for way longer in the fridge. You can use uh, a strainer in the cheese slough, or like me, just a paper towel, because that's all I have for now. And then you can just pour the whole mixture right in there. And you can leave it to, uh, to strain slowly for, for hours, even overnight. Leave it in the fridge. Probably gonna be like drop by drop. See, first drop, it's going. It's going, baby. Obviously, you don't wanna waste any of this beautiful oil, because you know, egg rolls once a year. It's delicious, it's precious. It's a little treat that we have here in beautiful Quebec. Now, the last step, guys, butter. And this, obviously, you can freeze, so you can have butter, you know, year-round. Oh, oh, what am I, oh, what should I make for dinner tonight? Oh, I don't know. What about some uh, ramp butter in my pasta? Why not, you know? Oh, it's, it's always nice to have in the fridge, guys. You know, you have a nice steak. Oh, I have no sauce. What should I do? Well, guess what? You have some ramp butter in the fridge, baby, just, and then it wasn't be, oh my God, what is this? Well, it's ramp butter, bitches. That's what it is. By the way, shout out to these guys, St. Bridget's. Best goddamn butter in Canada, guys. Get it, Ontario, shout out. Cut these a little bit in cubes, just so it makes it a bit easier. Put butter right in there. Now we have the ramps going in there as well. I might even do a quick little rough chop to this, it's gonna be easier to blend as well in there. And now the ramps can go in there as well. And this is unsalted butter, so we're obviously gonna add some salt too. At this point, you guys can even add some, some diced shallot in there, some lemon juice, some lemon zest. I wanna keep it like 100% ram butter. And then if you wanna modify that later, you can. I wanna get a nice, clean, green rams butter. Time to blitz. Okay, let's check out this butter. Ooh. Oh my God, look at this. The smell is just amazing here. Look at this beautiful butter here. We did it. We have our beautiful oil still straining here slowly. Butter here. We have the pickled rams. And now we can't just let you go, guys, without tasting this butter. So I have a nice sourdough bread here. We cut a slice. Okay. And then, okay, so we toast this dry because lots of butter coming on there. Okay, let's take the bread. Nice and toasty, baby. Okay, the bread is nice and toasted. Now, some ramp butter right on there. A good amount, because we deserve it. You know, we've been working hard all day, guys, foraging and shit. Oh, wow, look at this. Perfect amount of butter, actually. Okay, and now, just to finish, just a bit of finishing salt on top. And you know the drill, guys. My favorite part of every single video. It's tasting time. Look at this beauty. Okay, here you go, guys. First ramps of the year, let's do it. Oh my God, this is fucking fire. This is like the perfect mix of a nice, mild garlic from the forest that adds babies with leeks. And then this came out, you know, it's just, mm. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please go subscribe. It really helps us. Also, don't forget to like, leave a comment, and hit that bell, and we'll see you on the next episode of Always Ramps.